we've gathered here in this beautiful place to share one of the happiest moments in the lives of two special people. Matt and Victoria will affirm together in God's presence in this gathered community of family and friends. They want to live a life together as husband and wife. Matt and Victoria, marriage is the first and noblest of all human covenants which God himself created in the Garden of Eden. It was in the quiet set in the Garden of Eden where God made man in his own image. But the scripture says that God said it's not good for the man to be alone. And so with loving care, he removes a bone from Adam's side from which the fashion evil. Victoria, God did not use a bone from Adam's head. Yes, a wife is lord all over her husband, though you might wish it were so, <laughs> with her motorcycle self, yes. Nor mad did God use a bone from Adam's foot that he would push down the wife. But in using a bone from Adam's side, the rabbis always taught she was to live a life at his side, close to his heart, and equal in a compliment to make him complete. God officiates the very first wedding ceremony. He says these words, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they'll become one flesh. And there we see God's intention for the marriage relationship. It's to be a priority of relationship. You leave father and mother and you unite together. It's also a permanent, intimate relationship of clinging together and cleaving together. Today you're committing to spend the rest of your lives loving each other. For as much as you, Matt, and you, Victoria, have shared vows before these witnesses to live together in holy marriage, and the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I therefore declare you to be husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride.